What does a million dollars currently buy you in the Toronto real estate market? The answer is, well, not what it used to. And what's gonna be fun about this video is that real estate agents that make content on YouTube from all across Canada are putting out a video at the same time as me. So if you go into the description, you're gonna see a bunch of different markets across Canada, and you can click their videos after you watch this one to see what it costs to buy in Edmonton, Calgary, Surrey, Vancouver, all across Canada. And frankly, I've been given the toughest task here because Toronto, other than Vancouver, is one of the most expensive markets. But you might be surprised by what you see. My name is Tom Story. I appreciate you being back here on the channel. If you have not already, make sure to subscribe to the channel, join our growing community. And if you find anything valuable in today's video, all I ask is you like this video. Let's set a like goal for 200 likes. Help us get there. You can also go into the first link in the description, which is above all the other videos, if you want to book a call directly with me or somebody on my team. All right, let's get into it. So I started selling real estate February 2014. So I'm almost coming up on 10 years. And I want to show you what has changed. Because I remember when I started selling real estate and there was those TV shows out there, Million Dollar Listing, New York, LA, that used to mean something. That used to be like very luxury properties. And now true luxury in Toronto is probably three, five million dollars. But there is still options under a million dollars that exist in today's market as of the summer of 2023. So I want to show you something interesting here. This is showing you going back to 1975, what our real estate market has done. And in 2014, you could buy the average property in Toronto for under $600,000. You can kind of see what's happened since then. We peaked in 2021, 2022, and now we're going to see what's going to happen in 2023. But you can see that curve all the way up, right? That hockey stick curve in the last 15, 20 years. Now, that may frustrate a lot of people, especially if you're not already in the market. If you bought and you own a property and have the equity in it, you're, you're loving what the market's done for you, right? Because it's helped you build a lot of wealth along the way. But if you're renting, it is not great. And if I showed you a rental chart that looks similar to like that, it's similar. The rent prices just continue to go up. But I want to show you what actually exists and get to the bottom of what you can buy for under a million dollars in Toronto and break it into different asset classes. So I'm gonna give you four different examples today. These are all sales that have happened since July 1st. So this is recent data. I'm not cherry picking sales at different moments. These are all properties that are livable. You could move into right now. They don't need a complete gut job. They're not from the 1980s and have never been touched. These are properties that you could move into right now. There's also something that we have to talk about is that when we say a property that's a million dollars, there's tons of properties on the market right now listed at 999999 with an offer date that sell for $1.2 million. Those don't count, obviously. What we're talking about today is properties that have actually sold under $1 million in the last 30 days. I searched this morning on the Toronto MLS. There's actually 4,000 properties on the market under a million dollars but that includes condos, okay? Then I did the same search for freehold properties, meaning no condo fees, you own the land under your feet. There was 303 currently on the market in the city of Toronto. Before I give you the examples, I wanna show you a map of Toronto in our kind of real estate world and show you what the zones are called, which will make the examples make a lot more sense. So let's jump over there for a second. Now, what we're looking at here and Everything I'm showing you today sold in the city of Toronto. Now, what is the city of Toronto? It is this, okay? So when you see W, that simply means West. W5, W4, W09, W3, W2. I can explain what that means in a while. If you see C, it is Central. This is Central Toronto. Then we have West Toronto. And then we have East Toronto, right? And you can see where Toronto goes to the end of Scarborough, and then it is no longer Toronto as you head into Pickering going into Durham. So every example here is the 416 area code of Toronto. There is not that many freehold properties in the seas. Most of the freehold properties that you're seeing that are sub $1 million are in the E's pushing into Scarborough. They're maybe in this area right here, kind of pushing a little bit northeast. And then in the west, you're seeing a lot of them happen in the W04 area. 
So just so you know what I'm talking about as we go over the examples, these are the actual areas of Toronto, and I'll come back to this in a second. So I'm going to give you four examples of what has sold recently for under a million dollars. I have left out the address just for privacy reasons, but everything I'm about to show you is a real sale that happened on our real estate board under a million dollars since July the 1st. Okay, first example here I want to show you. This was a listing in the W04 area. So I just showed you the map here. It is the Mount Dennis area of W04. It's a semi-detached property. This sold for $990,000. It was three bedrooms, four bathrooms, had an interesting size lot. It was 34 feet wide, which is frankly massive. And it was a three-year-old house. Days on market 13. It had uh, four bathrooms, but it was only 55 deep, where the typical lot you see in Toronto is usually like, you know, 80 to 120 feet deep, right? So this is a semi-detached property that had no maintenance fees, sold for under a million dollars, decent value. Now, the location was not central Toronto, but it was Toronto. It was 416 area code of Toronto. Let's go over example number two. Next is a condo townhouse. Now, you can probably just tell where this is located if you know the area. This is the Sudbury townhouse complex, not too far from King West in the Liberty Village area. Now, this was a townhouse that sold for $995,000. It was a condo townhouse. So it was a townhouse, but not directly connected to a larger condo building, but it was a townhouse area with condo ownership. It was located in CO1 Niagara. So this is the core of downtown Toronto. It had three bedrooms, it had two bathrooms. Your maintenance fees per month were $679. And this unit was well over a thousand square feet on two levels. And it had a terrace as well. Now, this was on the market for 13 days. So, so far, okay, a semi-attached house under a million dollars, a condo townhouse under a million dollars, but what about the detached property? And I will show you the detached property, but first we're going to talk about condos. So this was a condo that sold basically right across the street um, from the Rogers Center, from Scotiabank Arena, from everything that's going on right down in the core. Okay. It sold for $952,000. It was located C01 waterfront. So, you know, as central in Toronto as you possibly could be. It had three bedrooms for a condo. It had two bathrooms. It was over 900 square feet. The monthly maintenance fees were $779 and its days on market was 22. Now for this specific building, because I know this building very well, it was located on lower Simcoe. I think you get great value in this building. You can get larger units and still keep them under a million dollars, but I could show you like so many examples of condos selling under a million dollars. I think what a lot of people want is I want to buy a house. I want to buy a house. I want to spend under a million dollars in Toronto. Does that exist? And it does exist mostly on the east side of Toronto, pushing towards Scarborough in that area. I'm going to show you an example that sold in the Danforth area in the East York area. So pushing kind of east and a little bit north. This sold in the last 30 days and it sold under a million dollars. And it was actually a house that you could move into right now. So it sold at 999900. So as close to a million dollars as you could get without uh, having to put 20% down because you did not go over that threshold. And this is a detached house. Now, does it have the greatest curb appeal of all time? No, it doesn't. But it was a 26 across by 95 lot. It had parking. It had two bathrooms and two bedrooms. Now, this is the difference. We talk about this a lot with our buyers that want to keep the budget under a certain threshold. And if you go from looking for a three bedroom house to a two bedroom house, you're going to find way more options and they're going to be cheaper options, obviously, because a lot of people that want three bedrooms are growing families. So first of all, you're not competing with these people, but the houses are also going to be cheaper. That's the number one thing. The second thing, if you want to knock off $75,000 to your house search, if it doesn't have a legal owned parking pad or a garage at the back and it's street parking, the price will come down as well. Then is the basement finished or is it unfinished? These are the things that you have to look for before you get into the inside of the house and start looking at it. Now, this house was not perfect. It wasn't completely renovated, uh, but it did sell. And to be fair, when I was looking through this list, I had tons to choose from. So there is options under a million dollars to buy a detached property in Toronto. The question for maybe someone watching this video is, do you want to live in those areas? If you are interested in getting a list of detached properties under a million dollars, just comment below 
and I'll get you that list. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it valuable. Make sure to check out all the other videos that are coming out at this exact same time to go check out all across Canada. And then you can come back here and tell me how crazy expensive Toronto is compared to the rest of this country. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this valuable. My name is Tom Story. And remember, home is where your story begins.